And hello everyone, welcome back. Zanzibar has violence, well we'll try to stop that. Um, I want to see in the world. Hmm, there appears to be no production of tanks in the world. Ah, there are airplane factories in the world, though. Neat. I don't think I can use them yet. No. Though in theory I could build tanks, I don't have factories for them yet. So we're going to hold off on that. Uh, Uruguay, have a better opinion of me. Spain can like me. Uh, better economic planning. Neat. Uh, oh, radio factories. Because we have national radio networks. It's fine, we can do that. Bolivia, better opinion of me. I will take more conservatives, please. There we go. So you've almost finished militarizing North America uh, in preparation of anything. And of course, Mexico. Poor Mexico. They're not going to ally us, but they, they aren't going to be not in our sphere, so we might as well invest in them. Right? Because investing in them means their economy contributes to my score. Same with the USCA. Uh, I would guard music. Sure. Cero is now a patrimony. Good. I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna upgrade the navy a little bit, actually. Oh wait, wait, no. I'm gonna hold off on building that navy because we're still getting steam turbine ships. There we are. Dreadnoughts, 18 speed. Let's compare them because they're so they're faster. The battleships. Uh, they have ten more attack, ten more hull, more firing range. Yeah. So we definitely want a plentiful supply of dreadnoughts. And we're going to get the final... There we are. We've, we've done it, everybody. We have all of the social reforms. Um, the only thing I could ever possibly otherwise think about changing would be political reforms at this point. Uh, a uh, maybe proportional representation. Or population-based. Voting. Uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how our America has turned out. 
Good minimum wage, eight hour workday, excellent safety regulations, generous subsidies for unemployment, good pensions, good health care, and a good school system. Yes. Public health care, everybody. As of 1911. Mm. Mm. Let's build another army. Let's build an African army. Throw in a couple of hussars. Grab an engineer. That's three. Sorry. One, two. It's nine, ten, eleven. One, two. There we go. And China just went bankrupt. the debts to us do they have allies do they have friends no they don't so without being able to draw in additional great powers um, it wouldn't it wouldn't make it a big fancy war which is what we want Not teeny tiny wars, but big fancy wars. Alright. Uh, I would like to get more conservatives, I believe. Because, yes, we would like the Democratic Party to be a free trade intervention, moralism, and. Jingoism. So that would be acceptable. Um, yeah. So we would like to support conservatives. Now we have a new election underway. Oh no. Anarcho liberals. Hmm. Kingston, patrimony. Good, good, good. So I believe these are all places up here. It's economy. Yeah, I see. We've got it as a core now. Almost entirely Yankee. What's Calgary produce in this game? Wheat. Fair enough. What about Edmund? Ooh, there we go. Dreadnoughts, everybody. The top notch combat ship. And better marketing and private banks. Build the Navy. Bam. I'll take another 17. All right, so if I want the people in favor of pluralism, uh, that doesn't matter. There we
the core of Ungava. Nice, nice. Did I miss a North American army? I believe moralism is what... Yeah, okay, so we're going to vote for moralism. I'm missing an engineer. That's fine. A Roanoke engineer will do the job. Good old, good, hundred percent siege efficiency. Needs two engineer and tank brigades out of a total need. And yeah, there we are, too. All right. Liberal and anarcho liberals stayed in power. All right. Uh, let's grab. Let's my economy. Algeria. Where's Algeria? Fine. Come on, hands. You can do the job. Algeria. Uh, no. I don't particularly care about you, Algeria. You're just this place. Alright, so, with this in mind... I want... What do I want? I want one less tank. Or not tank. Um, cannon. So I can build another. Oh, I'm doing another engineer. Anyway. Excellent! One more African engineer should do the job. All right. Any tension in the world? Oh, this uh, the Kashmir concession. And Abu Dhabi and the Ottoman Empire are at war over annexing. Okay. Actually, you know what? Change of mind. I will ally you, Algeria. I will give you the gift of influence and railroads, even though you are an insignificant uh, part of the world stage. But also, look everybody, we're number one. We're number one. Rule number one! Which is nice.
Now, if we fight the Ottoman Empire again, I will definitely want to take uh, Ottoman Etruria just so I can I can control the land bridge. Yeah, they're they're totally doomed. Totally doomed. All right. What's likely to cause a crisis? Uh, some Austria crises. India. Hmm. Flash for attention. Twenty-seven percent. Oh, it's dropping. That is a shame. Apparently, we have a peaceful world, everybody, except for oh, South America. Uruguay. Uh, local military governments, sure. Argentina likes me. Ah, La Paz! Which I think is actually here. Brazil wants me to back them. You know what? I will back Brazil. Damn right I will. They're my friend. Does anyone care to back La Paz? So. The UK supports it. To acquire La Paz. Bolivia demands this of Brazil. This could become a conflict. Yes. Yes. That's what I want for you. One engineer. One engineer, two cannon, two infantry. Yes, this is good. This is great. Surely, other Italy, you fool Italy. Why would you ever back the United Kingdom? You should know better. Curse of the Pharaohs, meh. Let's see. Political lobbying, okay. So Austria is inclined to help us. Russia, inclined to help us. France, inclined to help us. And the Netherlands are inclined to help us. Oh yes, oh, oh yes. There's Russia throwing their weight to us. Let's make sure we're fully prepared for battle. So I can get 40 prestige by doing it this way. But I mean, if I don't, then we have to fight a war. And that sounds a whole lot more tempting, doesn't it, people? Oh, there we go. France on my side. So again, we can demand it. It would cost them, let's say, offer peace. I would leave the Netherlands and Austria both very inclined to help me. Oh, there's Austria joining on. It merely leaves the Netherlands. So I really am, like I said. Uh, inclined to have the war happen. Sherbrooke. Persia wants an alliance. Aren't you friends with Russia? Oh, that's okay. 
I will decline their offer. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's dispatch some armies. Get them into a fighting position. Oh, I have what do I got? Uh, Alright, so I need to lose two units. Uh, split off one cannon, one infantry. All right, the 60k stack and head down here. 60k stack and head over there. You guys can go like that. Mm. Uh, the Netherlands is backing me in this one, aren't they? Yes, they are, so I will not be at war with them. But yes to Italy. So let's move some troops up there. Okay, that's going better. This is what we want to see. A crisis! Of the shooting. And, ooh. ooh, this gives me a thought. Yes. I'm going to take my Dreadnought fleet. And I'm going to sail them right over to the Straits of Dover so we can have that under control right at the start of the battle. Human resource development. Cool, more output. Calgary has oil now. And we have the gas attack, everybody. Which will make fights really painful. Um, up until we develop uh, gas mask countermeasures. <coughs> the UK, they're still like, uh, could we have peace? And to which I say, no, UK, we cannot have peace. I think this really, we really have to put this whole affair to rest with proper violence. Ooh, we have the talkies. The jazz singer. For the first sound motion. Ooh, we have, yeah, we have movies with music, everybody. There we are. Navy is ready. There it is. Australia, Venezuela, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Chile, Argentina, USA, Haiti, Persia, Liberia, Egypt, Algeria, Japan, all joined it. We have a great war for the British aggression of La Paz. Oh, this is going to be bad for them. So let's check the military or the diplomatic map mode. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go with... Let's click on the UK. So, all the red that you see on the map, all of the red on the map is what they're fighting. It's uh, not a good time to be the British, which I think is just fantastic. So troops there, 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 there. Like, I'll be honest, I'm not even going to mobilize my armies. Mm-hmm. 
British anarcho liberals. Uh, they'll never, they'll never win that that fun fight. Uh, no. Where's my military? There it is. Let's get you over there. And what do I want actually more for you? Another engineer. So I need what? Nine more units? Nine more Africa units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, we'll go with that. Alright, slow down a touch, just because that's how the war is going to need to go. Oh, am I war with the... No, the Ottomans did not get involved in this war. They're like, we may be allies of Italy, but no, 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 no. Right, I do have some American armies. There we go. Oh, this will be great, everybody. I mean, obviously, for a given value of great, um, if you're the UK, you may be thinking, why did we get involved in this? Where even is La Paz on a map? Well, now you know. Uh, we'll take a break here, and we'll come back soon.